Hello everyone, this is Paul. Welcome back to my channel, The Bigly Paladin. Today is Tuesday and therefore we are going to take a look at a movie which just came out last week called as American Made. Now, if you guys don't know about this film, it's about a real true story, I think. Uh, that's what I saw in the trailers and it's acted by Tom Cruise. Now, that's the only pull that film had just you know make me want to watch the film because i'm a big tom cruise fan um and my friend sent me this trailer and then i, I wouldn't even know if this film was coming out or not it's just like uh, it's just one of the random films that the big stars do that gets kind of swept under the rug for some reason and i that would have happened for me as well if i didn't know my friend sent my the trailer thing to me so i watched the trailer and then i watched the film it's okay you know it's not that bad it's not that good uh, it's just in the right in the medium level so you can watch it like one time and then you can enjoy the film and today i'm gonna i was actually gonna do some other older films to showcase that in the channel but you know what just uh, there's no big films that are coming out except for thought three in the next month so you know why not just do this film as well so i just wanted to do this and i'm gonna do it so let's just begin shall we First thing is the plot of the movie. The story revolves around a commercial pilot, Tom Cruise, uh, who flies, you know, from point A to point B. So now the CIA looks at it. Oh, okay. I gotta have this guy. Why? Do some reconnaissance for me. You know, have some cameras around the flight or something. Just get me some information about that place where you're going to. Uh, so he will go there and he will do things. And when he does that, so there will be like a sort of like a general there so they will both uh, you know that's like point a to point b he will be doing stuff and the cartel will get a sniff of it and then they will uh, get this guy he's not government he's just helping out the government so he's like uh, the cartel will get him and he'll they'll be like um, you know what if you want money just do this for us and he will do it now the cia will know about this but they won't care because they just need the information they don't care about whatever he does so they will pass a blind eye towards that and Tom Cruise will keep on doing it but DEA will keep, uh, see this and then they will try to arrest him they don't know about the CIA thing so they just like oh this guy's a random dude who just fly flies from this place to this place and he got connected with the cartel so now that's, that's the confusion begins but the CIA will help him out because they need the information and stuff and at one point they will just shut down everything and then uh, you know Tom Cruise will be like oh shit what am I gonna do uh, so he will just he will get arrested you know main things from Washington uh, so they will be like you know what do things for us and we will let you go so we will cut a deal or something but he will do it but they will be like turn on him and they're like oh no no you're getting arrested man and uh, the but the sentence won't be that far that bad but we are forgetting one dude one like involvement of one dude and that is the cartel now they won't be leaving this that just like that they will be like huh he screwed with us hey he was working for the uh, cia he was also getting trying to cut a deal with the dudes at the um, washington thing so i'm not gonna let him do that so he'll try to assassinate him and uh tom cruise will try to escape from point a to point b he'll just keep on moving changing motels from time to time but he won't be able to do it he will die so that will be the end of the film and the CIA will consequently begin a war and that will be shown in the film. You know that happened in the real life as well. So good kind of like round up. Uh, there will be like a lot of confusion in the film. Uh, not in the confusion in the film as you can see it but when you just look at the plot you will be like there's like plenty of confusion in this plot right. But when you watch the film they would have explained it in a perfect way. Um, not to a point where it's like inception or something you know not that crazy don't get me wrong but it is a true story based on a true story so um, the complicatedness of the script depends upon what happened in real life and how much of it you're gonna explain in the film and how much of the thing you're gonna exaggerate so uh, when you you have to if you are well versed with this content uh, well if you are from that kind of like time period and you know what happened in the real life and when you watch the film uh, you will be like uh, that had didn't happen that didn't happen that didn't happen so you can go on and on but for me I am not I was not present during that time period so I can't compare what happened and what didn't happen because the media obviously can twist and turn certain news and when I try to go back and see oh these are the things uh, that I saw in the movie did that really happen uh, it won't come up it's like point a from a news will say oh yeah it happened point B in a news will say no it didn't happen so I will I will get easily confused but people who actually lived in those timeline can easily can compare with the film and they'll be like you know what that didn't happen 
so they can easily tell you so if you have that kind of a person with you uh, who are that time period and who are at that place you can take them to the movie and then you can have a you know uh, movie partner and then you can like oh did that happen and did that happen so you can learn more from them so that's the plot of the story pretty much so next is the characters now characters is two people important Barry Seal and Lucy Seal husband and wife and that's like the deadbeat brother of the wife who will come to into the story for uh, you know getting a job from Barry and he will get a job from Barry but it's not that important of a deal and a CIA agent who will uh, you know deal with Barry uh, it's like uh, okay you do this for me you do this for me and stuff like that so he's these are the main characters that you need to look for not pretty exciting on any level but you know it is what it is you know just kind of like you can look forward to these characters in the film and when you think about the plot of the story they will be a little bit exciting from time to time but not to a point where you're like oh shit that guy did it that character was uh, is going to stay in my uh, mind forever now So now the cast and the crew. Now two characters that you need to remember is the director and the main lead. Main lead is obviously Tom Cruise. Everyone knows Tom Cruise. Now come on, uh, don't let me spell out you know how big he is. He's a great actor and he did his job. Whenever I see a film that is gonna fail, I just I won't complain it. Complain it on the actor themselves. I just complain it on the writers for not using the talent of the actors. Uh, so when I see this film, I saw that it was not a failure. But when I saw Tom Cruise, he did his job. And when the if the script could have been a little bit more different in his approach, Tom Cruise would have even done a better job. Things. So I don't know. It's just like I'm conflicted. You know, thinking oh this, oh that, stuff like that. But Tom Cruise did a good job. And the director is Doug Liman. So if you don't know about him, the main film that I can explain it to you is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, which was not a big successful film, but it was an amazing, enjoyable, uh, full, pa entirely packed, uh, you know, entertainment film. So uh, you got that, and he also did some other films as well, which are noticeable, uh, but not to a point where it's like a greatest director of all time or sort. But he did a good job as well. He kind of plotted everything in a good way, and he had good screenplay artists as well. So they kind of showcased, you know, okay, if you are gonna direct these sequences, uh, you need to have these things as well. So for a film that is based on true story, it was not that awful, to be honest with you. So it's good, and you can give it a chance. Reception and critics. Now, the critics have taken it in a mediocre level. You know, they have not like, oh shit, this 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 shit is absolutely lit. But it is like I think it got three stars in my local newspaper, and uh, I think it's definitely more than that. I think it's three and a half, at least four. But it's not five, not five. It's not five. But it's a it's a good job. And uh, collection wise, it actually did a lot well. And I think it's like. Uh, they put like around 50 million in terms of like production value it got double triple uh, more than that it's like it could go higher just because of its Tom Cruise level uh, and his acting so yeah critically it's good not bad at all and commercially it's good not bad at all so you know it's, it did job you know it's just entertain entertainment value uh, whether you're entertained or not is just the point of the film and I am I was entertained <laughs> My personal opinion is I loved the film, I didn't hate the film, not by a long shot, but I, I saw like a couple of changes that I could uh, see that could have happened, uh, they could have easily done it. I cannot explain it because I, I, you have to be there, you have to see that sequences, uh, if you're not it's going to be like more of a spoiler, so I don't want to spoil it for you. But in a couple of instances I thought, oh they could have done this a little bit different, they could have done that a little bit different. So. You know, it's it's a hit and a miss for that those sequences, but for the rest of the sequences, I was fine with it. You know, just my personal opinion. That's all I can. Rating now. How to put this? Eight out of ten. Just um, it's not like average film that you just you know go past, or it's not like above average. It's above average, it's not like below average thing, it's not worse, it's just 
some people would have forget about the film and some people would have moved on to another level they could have just like oh i'm just waiting for thor 3 or some other films uh, that is coming in the future or the next uh, mission impossible film even from tom cruise and they would have easily missed this film but i would say just watch this film just because of tom cruise and the story is not that off bad you will actually find this film a little bit interesting if you don't know about the concept of this film so yeah pretty much you have to watch everything that is there so you will love it so thank you guys for watching in that like button if you like this video share the video with friends and family subscribe to the channel for it there is movies tv shows reviews reactions and everything guys so if you watch this video why not give my other video a chance which will be playing in the screen right now which will be about movies so if you want to watch it go and watch it or if not if you want to binge watch my entire movie reviews thing which would be lovely as well get a popcorn and just watch my movie uh, bucket list get that bucket list and go watch those films and uh, why not subscribe to the channel if you if you are at it and subscribe to my gaming channel as well and you will get awesome quality content on there as well so thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one bye